guys. Uh, oh, shit. Okay, you started soon. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Podcast. Off, King. We're back to a podcast, Some Ordinary Podcast, with uh, <laughs> the only political streamer that I've ever watched in my entire life, Destiny. Hey, what's up? How's it going? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> right and now. Muda and Nux as well, obviously, so... Uh, Anyways, can, can can you can you tell us can you tell us about the off brand? I just want to rip the bandaid off yeah, right now. It. I've been Do meeting to um, talk about that. Yeah, I so have a uh, I have an LLC and, and uh, trademark and, and brand called Off Brand, and so does Ludwig and uh, a bunch of other l- much larger creators. And there, I feel like I feel like I can't really say anything about it, or you will get absolutely obliterated because I'll get destroyed. Yeah, <laughs> and they won't respond to me. They won't. They won't uh, the respond to my my polite messages i bet they're not polite though come on oh they're 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 polite they're very polite i mean i love all those guys i have a lot of respect for all those dudes no so. that's what we love about streamers man their fan bases are so fucking ravenous yeah. it's just it's so fun going toe-to-toe with you that know what shit. else i like about streamers how they're all such nice people even behind the scenes like they not only do they preach but also they practice what they preach exactly they practice <laughs> Destiny knows a lot about these streamers, like Miss Kiff. In the last few weeks, you've been you've been blowing up, uh, you know, on the YouTube algorithm. I've seen it. You know, it's there. There, there was one night where I like load up my. Uh, I was just watching like a speed run video. Mm-hmm. I think somebody's of like course. echoing. Is somebody echoing? Oh, don't know. I, I every time I speak, some yeah, I hear myself. I think it's yeah, you echoing. Yeah, I don't think any, none of our boxes are lighting up. So yeah. Oh, you, buddy. Okay, I'll yeah. just I'll just try to practice down. what you right. preach there, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, dude. Yeah. yeah come okay. on, buddy. <laughs> All right, I got you. Well, to, to say this, I was watching a speedrun video, and like on on my on my side recommendation, Destiny shows up, sixty k live viewers. And I'm like, what the fuck happened? And here's Destiny. Basically, you're like the uh, you're like the mediator. You're like the goddamn like man in the middle for all of this. You're like the person who everyone is coming to no, but, with this Twitch PR disaster, isn't it? Destiny. One thing I have to say: when you title a video, "Destiny watches Miskiv vods and uncovers big lie," and I want to know what the lie is. I don't have time for a 51 minute video to know what the lie is. Listen, dude, I'm trying oh, to I... milk that AdSense. Okay, <laughs> if I give it up right in the title, you're not gonna watch anything. Oh Jeez, my God, bro. <laughs> Come on, dude. Yeah, I'm watching you, OnlyFans girls previews. No, you're not supposed to give it all away right in the fucking intro, yep. right? Calm down. Yep. Damn, really, is that like fans. a Destiny clipper who just... Yeah, there's probably, I'm sure there's like 20 of those them. channels, yeah. You'd strike them down, never mind. <laughs> no, I would, damn, I don't do that. Jeez. Side. I'm not Caleb no, over here but... trying to shut down other streamers <laughs> trying to do things online because <laughs> no, of the I'm trademarks and copyrights, okay? Jeez. <laughs> oh well, my well, god, dude. I just, I love, I love, like, fucking the fact that since you're streaming on YouTube, nobody can, like, restream your shit on Twitch. Yeah, it's pretty it funny watching like, people, like, covering my camera and stuff with their camera and stuff to try to make it okay to watch on stream now. Do you ever want to just, like, go in and just, like, constantly change the camera around? Just have, it like, like a DVD logo, like, just, like, <laughs> scrolling across. That's pretty Somebody crazy. actually made a GIF in my subreddit of just that, yeah. Like, when Destiny's covering drama, it should do the thing where it's moving around the screen or whatever so people can't watch it, yeah. Bro. Is that really how strict Twitch is? Like, you just literally cannot have somebody that was banned from the platform? Like, I don't even think YouTube is, like, that strict because people have had, like, Alex Jones on, right? Um, Twitch, Twitch is weird. I, I thought there was someone who just like, like they reacted to something with Doctor Disrespect in it, and they got like banned for a few days. You honestly, you just never know. It's it's all, it's just kind of you know there are like some highways you can speed on. Sometimes it's cops, sometimes it's not. Twitch is kind of like that. Sometimes you get hit for stuff, sometimes you don't. It's really hard to say. I think Hassan watched my stuff, listened to my voice for like eight hours. And he seemed to get by okay. When I was on the platform, yeah, sometimes song, I could dude. watch like Vosh videos and react to them, even though he was banned. Other people have gotten hit for watching like, a thirty-minute thing of somebody. It just, uh, yeah, I don't even know. Mm-hmm. How to tell. Do you prefer YouTube over Twitch now that you're full time on YouTube? Um, do I prefer YouTube over Twitch at this point? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, for sure. Cool. Technologically, it been... it, it's always been superior. Right. Um, the only issues have been where the discoverability is. And for whatever reason, over the past, you know, six to 12 months, the discoverability on YouTube has gotten way, 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 way better. It severely outclasses Twitch. The only way Twitch could ever be better was if you were a really big streamer, um, which I guess I kind of was. So, I mean, like you can kind of get viewers in a lot of categories because people just sort by like highest viewers in category. But other than that, like having the right title on a YouTube stream and stuff will drive a ton of viewership if stuff is, you know, popping off. So Also, you're not really in a fair example to compare YouTube and Twitch because most people that stream on YouTube could collab with people on Twitch. Yeah, that kind of hurts too, being banned. You're, you're in that unique position that you literally can't be on Twitch. So no yeah. one could work with you. I, I, I was wondering, how does it feel... 
to have someone that you know hates you and they have to watch your content for eight hours for their stream. How does that how does that feel? Does it's it pretty does funny. It feel good a little bit? It's a funny thing, yeah. Everything's pretty wacky yeah. over it, yeah. Well, I mean, like, given the fact with recent stuff on YouTube, like, when it comes to discoverability, I'm just, like, really, I'm waiting for when, like, YouTube implements, like, the UI change that lets you, like, change the website to, like, a Twitch-like layout, you know? Because one of the yeah. big things about YouTube right now is, like, you can run a stream mm -hmm. and have, like, a VOD channel literally and the same thing. Like, YouTube's great for, like, having VODs on. But if they just made, like, the, if they made, like, the uh if they just had like a separate interface for live streaming that matched twitch fucking would kill it right there Dude, yeah i'm kind of a boomer and i don't like sort by games or whatever mm -hmm. they would just I, win there used to be on like youtube gaming something but I, I think they rolled all of that into the main youtube product i i have no idea where to find streams on youtube i'm gonna be honest um That's even true. looking at right now i wouldn't even know where to go on the page like trying to find mm -hmm. out where live streams are if it doesn't show up on the front thing i have no idea so yeah well, it's like you, it's like, like I said, when, when you were streaming the whole like fucking Twitch fallout, it was like you showed up in the recommended, like in the recommended video tab on like a speed running video I was on. Based. So I'm promoting Factorio, my dream. Yeah. It, it wasn't even like, it was literally, that was a thumbnail. And you know, that's why I clicked on it. Like I didn't even look at the viewer account or the name. I'm like, oh shit, that's me playing Factorio. Mm -hmm. Motherfucker gets me addicted to this shit. And I, like, I cannot actually stop playing this fucking game. Wait, oh shit, like, wait, you actually started playing? Yeah, because, okay, so, like, this is the whole thing. Like, I'm watching a fucking Destiny stream, and I'm like, like, I usually have it on, like, the second monitor, right? I'm like, what the fuck is this motherfucker doing? Like, he's, like, sitting there playing SimCity or some shit on the Super Nintendo. Oh, yeah. And then I look into it, and I'm like, you gotta like, I still don't get it. Super. Wait, you, you said you are playing, though? Oh, I am playing it, yes. Okay, yeah. You gotta be careful. I'm on my way to get the rocket going. It's like, it, it literally, like, for me, I love it because it just feels like literal, like, engineering. Like, mm -hmm. actually, like, programming, like, something. Like, I make this entire, like, automated shit. Mm -hmm. And then I'm sitting there, I'm like, I can make it better now that I have, like, new equipment. And then I just go back. And it's like, don't ever play that. Don't play that. And don't play Rust or anything because you'll waste, like, hundreds of hours of your life. And you'll never get it back. But Yeah, well, yeah RimWorld. Rem, yeah, huh? RimWorld, Factorio, and then there's a third one called Oxygen Not Included. Yeah, there's that, and then there's, like, fucking if you really want to feel OG, there's, like, Dwarf Fortress. If you want to, like, lose your actual brain and, like, never, ever live life again, there's that. I don't know, man. Like, when it comes to Factorio and shit like that, I play... Ever since I bought that, I bought, like, all these other, like, factory games, like, uh, uh, what is it, Dyson Sphere Simulator and shit. Like, I tried Kerbal Space Program, but then I'm like, shit, I'm not a NASA scientist. Let's just alt F4 out of that shit and refund it right there. <laughs> like, I, I don't know, man. When I saw you playing it, like, like I watched for like half an hour and i'm like all right let's go on steam what is this 40 bucks let's mm -hmm. give it a try and it just all went downhill from there like it's just no more fucking free time if you um <laughs> kerbal space program is a lot of, it is it, it's really complicated there's a big initial hump but once you learn mm -hmm. it kerbal space program is a lot of fun i think yeah. oh yeah no, my, that's exactly what my brother said he's mm -hmm. like he's like you didn't get the rocket to the he's like telling me all this shit i'm like listen I'll, I'll figure it out eventually but right now it's not it's not the time yeah like, I have too many of these like in engineering type games that I got to figure out first before I jump like my 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 like brain around all of them. Have you ever? Do you do? But, are you? Have you? Do you do programming? I don't know why that took me three to voice ask. Uh, I do it uh, like uh, it's more of a hobbyist thing now for me personally. I'm I'm just trying to like work around with consoles at this point, like mm -hmm. reverse engineer shit that I have. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. So that's what I'm into now. It's just like a it, it all has become like a hobbyist thing for me at this point. Mm -hmm. Like just like for me, I look at it. It's like woodworking and shit. Mm -hmm. Like those woodworking channels, I'm like, oh, this is just like me sitting down for two hours, like killing time and like yeah. working on a long form project, but uh, not something that I would ever care to ever be bothering doing again, even as a career path. It's just too stressful. Sure. It's like boring. Well, compared to anything that we do now, you know. But speaking of career paths, I would like to say this, and I know it's it's tough to say. Like, no, no, no. Speaking of career paths, listen, I know a lot of people say being a YouTuber and Twitch streamer is, like, difficult. Like, some people switch careers and they come into this shit and it's like, man, I wish I could do my old job. Let's let's be fucking real here. What? This is a lot fucking easier than our old jobs. Yeah. <laughs> right? Not easier than mine. What, what do you mean? Like, what was your old job? I was a farrier. Oh. Okay. okay. Yeah, I would that say was I, you always gotta difficult. be... You got to be careful when you call it easy. I would say that streaming is definitely the most difficult job that I've ever had. But like, it's a, it's a, would you say labor of love? Like I would choose to do this over like an yeah. easier. Very rewarding. Yeah, it's rewarding. Yeah. Like yeah. on or every the, level. The, yeah. And the challenges are fun challenges, right? Mm -hmm. Like there's a lot more I have to think about here than I had to think about like with carpet cleaning or working like food service jobs or whatever. But, um, but those jobs sucked because the pay is really bad. 
the work is very menial and not rewarding and it's just not like an enjoyable thing at all whereas yeah for streaming yeah. And, and youtube stuff it's way 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 more fun i guess you're right because we actually enjoy what we do like the challenges are not challenges necessarily sure, yeah. per se but like even with all of that considered it's like there are a lot of content creators willing to throw away <laughs> a dream job over the fucking most insane shit that i've ever seen now I don't like to say this is drama, uh -oh. like the whole like Twitch sexual assault stuff. It's not drama to me. That's like an actual like if true, like Crime. like if the cards fall the right way, mm -hmm. severe criminal like problems going on over there. So I, I don't know, like if you want to recap just a slight bit, there's a lot to recap regarding it. But just to get on the same page, Destiny, what's <clears> it? What, how did this all necessarily begin? Um, I don't know, man. Can I even recap it all? Basically, there was a party in Austin and in that party, um, it seems like there was a person that got a little bit too drunk. They went upstairs to sleep. They had friends watching them. Um, this girl's name was Adriana. It seems like in the course of her trying to sleep up there, um, another person came in called Crazy Slick, and he seems like he tried to inappropriately touch her a few times while her friends kind of like told him to fuck off. Um, it seems like after she... Um, oh, God, I'm going to fuck this up. It seems like... Uh, a little while later, there was another girl called Novaru that kind of leaked that this happened on a show and everybody started freaking out because nobody had known publicly that this happened, which kind of forced Adriana to make a statement about it. Um, in the course of Adriana typing up a statement about it, um, a few people from Crazy Slick's like, gamer house or team house went over to have a conversation with him about it. Um, when these people went over to have a conversation about it um, with, uh, with Adriana, it's, people are wondering if they forced her to change her statement to protect crazy slick. That's like a hotly debated thing right now. Nobody knows what the answer to that is. And, um, basically like two years later, this has all kind of come up again because now, uh, <laughs> I just, there's like, this is like game of Thrones. There's like 400 people involved in this, <laughs> but basically two other yeah, streamers God. called train wrecks and XQC, um, uh, got into a fight with another group of streamers from the OTK crew, um, Ms. Kiff. And then another guy called Hassan and Pokey over like gambling stuff. Trainwrecks ended up bringing up this like sexual assault allegation that was like hidden by Ms. Kiff, the OTK guy. And then um, it all, it all kind of blew up into a thing where it all came back out into the into the into the light. And now people are wondering if Ms. Kiff, one of the OTK people, was involved with his girlfriend Maya and two other friends, Mitch and Barry, in trying to cover up Adriana's sexual assault uh, twit longer to save their friend Crazy Slick. I don't know if anybody followed that. I don't even know if I, I followed that. But... No, 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 I, I, I understood. That was a really I'm good deep conversation. In it. I'm deep in it. Yeah, okay. I, no, I wanted like to I... ask, um, yeah. as far as covering things up, wouldn't Trainwreck also be considered someone that covered this up because he knew about it for a while and he only used it as a zinger once he was called out for gambling streams? Isn't that also kind of covering it up? So the argument on that side is that technically if somebody tells you a sexual assault story, you don't have um, – you're not supposed to reveal it without that person's consent because we're dealing – what? But he did do that at the end. Like, because he was pissed at Ms. Kiff, right? Well, no. According to Adriana, this is something they've been talking about for a long time. And it was something that she'd only just recently come out with, like, being comfortable going public with. And the oh. timing just ended up lining up on this. Now, our, we could Dude, say that that's a lie, but, like... It was a reply like, to his tweet. It wasn't it was. like the timing worked out. He looked... It was a reply. Yeah, I mean, like, I think that there is fair criticism there that, like, Train, it seemed like he weaponized it a little bit. But, I mean, based on everything that has been said by Adriana and everything that's been kind of leaking behind the scenes, it seems like the timeline did authentically line up on it. Now, there could be other stuff that comes out that proves that's not true, but um, it does yeah. seem to be the case that it was just kind of like lucky timing for them, yeah. It's, uh, really yeah, no, the, it, it's, it's one of those things where, like, the moment it happened, it's just, like, I was, I had, like, it happened in real time for me because I had it, like, open, right? Like, the Twitter thing was just, like, updating while I was rendering a video, mm -hmm. and, like, it went from, like, you know, I was on the Asmongold tweet, and then, like, Miss Kiff mentions the Jolt coin shit, which, uh, I've been trying to find the Jolt Coin stuff. It's uh, it's like if it existed, man, they did a lot to scrub that shit clean. <laughs> you know what I mean off of the internet? Okay. Because I really couldn't find much about. I, I well, I didn't, to be fair, I didn't like look that hard into it. I mean, I just checked around. I'm like, if it existed, Jesus Christ. Okay. I, I keep uh, stumbling on like crypto scams by accident, like from like little yeah. niche communities that never actually get. Did you know there was this whole crypto scam in like the Yu-Gi-Oh community? <laughs> 
<laughs> like this one. Oh, game. I knew That's about that. Funny. What? How did you know about that? I didn't know about that. No, He's I, the I heard about it offhand guy. in like a Discord server. Yeah, I heard That's about true. it in like a Discord server. People were talking about it. Like they were like, you know, you, it, it it came up in like a passing by. I didn't look too deep into it because I'm like, oh, fucking car, like anything card related. I'm like, oh, there's probably going to be because when I heard of the Yu-Gi-Oh thing, I'm like, oh, they probably found out how to make like NFTs and like a coin yeah, out so, of it. Some so bullshit. apparently, the guy's claim was something along the lines of. I wanted to run international tournaments, and so how would everyone be able to access currency if I made a crypto? Yeah. 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 <laughs> that that that's usually. I mean, like it's funny because like some the, the crypto scammers are so like deranged that like they don't even look into who they want to promote the product. Like I can open up like my Twitter thing and like show you like in like a message I just got from like this one person. Like they named me by name. It's like, hey, Mudahar. Okay. Like they just mm-hmm. took whatever my Twitter handle was and it's like, uh we're making we're airdropping a new coin. I'm like, whoa, whoa, hold on, Chief. Okay, just open my channel for a little bit. Look at most popular uploads. I don't think you want to be sending this to me, but okay. But like Going into the Jolt coin, I'm like, I didn't look too hard into the whole Jolt coin thing. I'm like, if true, whatever. After the whole Jolt coin tweet, right, was like the whole like a uh, train wreck bringing up like this, you know, sexual assault cover up. And I was like, whoa, hold on a second. Okay, we just went from like financial crypto scam nonsense to like actual serious shit. And at that point, like, obviously the internet completely froze for a minute. It was like, wait a minute, what? <laughs> like, excuse me, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know. Like the the whole the the whole jump over there obviously timing wise seems fishy like initially when it happened but like after we've seen like even the victim come out with like their timelines I think it lines up. I mean are there always going to be people saying that it was weaponized for sure? It always seems that way but I'm I I tend to just say like if if the victim in the story wants it told at that specific time I'm just going to believe what the victim says, you know. Nah, fuck like, that. In terms of give victims wise. way too much credit. Listen, victims can fuck up too, okay? You're a victim. You you are your mind is primed to fuck up. Um I like yeah, like I said, I don't think that like it doesn't seem like there's any evidence that Train like bullied her where he was like, we need to take this out right now. We're going to go public get these dudes up. Um, but like, I definitely think with the way that they brought it up, there's definitely room for criticism there where it's like, it kind of seems like you just brought this out as like a right hook to, to you know, smash Miz and, and friends. But I mean, Yo, it is but they, it is. Did, they didn't just smash Miz. They fucking, they, they curb stomped the motherfucker to the ground, though. They went like, for this the isn't kill. even like, actually went for yeah, the this kill. is. It's like an actual kill shot. Like, even before filming this, we were like, does Miss Kiff have a career coming back? And I think everyone who's developed yeah. a fan base will always have a career in some way. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. no matter who you are, like, if you develop, like, it doesn't matter how much you fucked up. Once you have an established fan base, I don't think you can ever not not have an internet career. It's just that that career will be severely diminished when you come back, for sure. Like, yeah, it's just going to be a lot de- less fun. Yeah. It's going to depend on the size of your fan base, and it's going to depend on what you did. Like, if you get dinged with, like, fucking child crazy stuff, you're probably gonzo forever, right? Like, Milo Yiannopoulos has gone white from the internet. Nobody thought that would happen. Um, But if it's, like, I I would say, like, the story right now involving Ms. Kiff and Friends is, like, it's a pretty convoluted story. um, Mm. And I don't think it's one that is going to leave people feeling, like, viscerally, like, oh, God. Um, The only thing it'll come down to is whether or not people, whether or not streamers feel okay about it and they still want to collaborate with Ms. Kiff. If he can still get people to, like, collaborate with him and stuff, he'll probably be okay, I would imagine. So, like, I don't think Slick has a career given no, like, he's Slick the center. Yeah. That Slick dude's gone. Yeah. Gonzo, but, Gonzo. but, like, here's, here's the thing. There are so many, like, different perspectives, and a lot really is. They don't, no one knows what really happened. And I, I don't know what an internal investigation, like they're claiming they're running, is actually going to reveal. That what? That he actually knew and he sent Maya to cover it up? How, how is. How is that going to ever come to light? Um, I, yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's really hard because it comes down to just a few key like witnesses, and it seems like they haven't spoken in a well, way they, that's like they turned, haven't decided so. who, what side of history they want to stand on. That's kind of yeah. how it seems to me. It's like they're both fence sitting and they want to be on the winning. One side. thing that I'm wondering is like, do you think Twitch I- itself is actually investigating? Because nah, like, nah, it's, I don't think so. Nah, I feel like that. I feel like this is one of those reasons where like it does require some internal investigation from the site itself because this isn't like the smaller people on your site doing it. This like involves some of the most top like you know faces of your website you know publicly because I for me and my rule of thumb is like the moment I see you in the Google News algorithm, like the moment you can see articles, you're done. You know, like if you ever get caught doing some up on YouTube, until you start showing up in like the mainstream New York Times stuff. YouTube will let you slip by. It's like, whatever. It's not, we don't even acknowledge it. The moment you're in the algorithm for the news, 
bitch, your your days are actually numbered. Go home, pool's closed. No, I mean, not I, today. I don't know. Zero is making content again. Like, and he he had some of the worst possible, uh, you know, from the Smash community. Yeah, Zero Smash guy. He uh, he yeah, sued. Yeah, bro. Like everyone in the Smash community is. So up, he so. sued Jisu, the guy, the the person that yeah. came out with all the allegations against him, and apparently won. And he's back to making content. Wow. Okay. And um, <laughs> that's it. I mean, hey, well, you can well, just upload shit. videos on this platform. I, I, as long I as don't you... know. When I hear the when I hear the Smash community, like to be real with you, like I, I I think it's easier to count on one hand the people in the Smash community that didn't get caught doing that shit. You know, like right off the bat. Because I remember when the Smash shit was happening, it was like, oh wow, one the person you go go to take a shower, come back. Oh shit, two more. Like they were coming up like getting. It was just, it was happening day in and day out. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know. Dude, the Smash community houses, is super weird with that. I would hate to be in one of those, like, content houses, Bro, streamer houses. did you ever live in a content house? Dude. Did you guys cover the, <laughs> the Sky Williams house? I yeah. th- well, I, I, I laughed at her from the side because I'm oh, I was man. I was only there for his live stream where they ripped out the Ethernet cord for it and he started showing the map mm-hmm. and it was like I looked at the map I'm like bro this is not Metal Gear just because you're out of the cone of vision doesn't mean you're not responsible <laughs> for what happens what yeah, just because you're out of the cone of vision it's like tax evasion. Like, <laughs> it's like this this is the map of the house and everyone was just spamming it with like super metroid maps like fucking video game maps i'm like hey guys i got lost in the sky house i'm like dude worst way to fucking do the whole responses on it i don't know if like i know he made a video recently but i don't know if that'll ever like do the whole the problem with that career is like he spent way too long dealing with like fucking figuring out what to say and like I think I said it on your stream, but like first impressions, anytime you get caught in something like this are the most important, right? Like if your first explanation or stream about something is a fuck up, that's all people will remember. It doesn't matter if you come back like two weeks later with like a more cohesive response. It's like the moment you've burned that like first response mm-hmm. when all the eyes are on you, fucking kiss her goodbye. So it's I remember done, you like... mentioning that and I was thinking, oh my God. James Charles actually did the unthinkable. Do you remember when he got called out by the Tati drama like years ago, like five years ago? Yeah. And he the the, the vitamin shit, the vitamin one, right? So he uh. he released an apology video just blathering on a plane, like on his plane, and he was just crying all over the place, and it made no sense. And people, Wait, was this a private jet? Uh, probably. I don't know. He's amazing. <laughs> Bro, the, hella. He's in the makeup. He's in the beauty crew. community. Of course, there's a private jet. And uh, then he came back later. Like with uh, with an apology video with the receipts and actually survived. So I have to say, kudos to him. Yeah, you can you can come back, but you have to have a really the, the more you fuck up your first impression, the stronger your yeah. Uh, yeah, comeback your has to be when to you be. come. Yeah, you need to have some real good evidence. Yeah, I always said I think I said that several times during this drama that like when stuff goes crazy, it's always good to just take like a day to think about your response. There's literally no reason. There's no benefit to responding immediately, and usually in the rush to get out a statement, you're gonna fuck up, and it's just not good. So yeah, like even in Miskiff's statement, it was like fucking. There was one line that like rubbed me a little weird. It was like. Uh, uh, it was something about like uh, sexual assault, regardless of degree. I'm like, dude, it just still sounds like you're mm. downplaying it. Like, just take the L, move on for a little bit. Like, even the response seemed like weird. Like, I don't know. Maybe I'm reading no, too. I into feel these like things. it's because uh, for the long, like, there was that one clip of him that surfaced that was like really downplaying. It, it was like it was just a little sexual assault, you know? Like, ee. I mean, it's, I, only it's, a, it's only like a D tier assault. It is. It's so complicated, like oh my but God, like don't uh, even to, say yeah. that. To, to play devil's advocate a little bit, like initially it was people were saying that like, so like full on like somebody like which and i can understand why because i know there was one clip of miz that played where people were like he it seemed like he was down playing at hardcore but it was in response to chat being like didn't miz give rape somebody at the party and i was like oof what he did was bad Whoa. but like he didn't full on rape somebody like that's oh wait oh slick. Way more time. not miz yeah. Give. Yeah, yeah. Wait, did like, I say yeah, Miskiff? Yeah, it was. Miskiff. Yeah, I think it did. It was slick, a clip on yeah. Miskiff's stream where he was talking about Slick. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and yeah, he was playing like Wow. Yeah, or something. and people were asking him about it, and, and he was like, "No, he didn't do that." And then in in the course of him explaining that, it sounded like he was downplaying it hardcore. But I understand why when he was speaking in response to the audience, why he was getting irritated that that was the yeah. It's all it's yeah. all a big cluster. Like, you you're never really in a good spot when you're starting to rank like the severity of like a particular sexual no, assault. It's probably so never a good bad. position to oh be in. My God. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah, like, like that's, smash, all, that's always gonna fuck you. Fearless territory. No, you you don't want you don't want to get you don't want to get caught in any of that to begin with. The, the other big cancellation I saw too, and this one kind of like can twist me up a little bit is the uh, you know the G two CEO. Yeah, Carlos. Oh, God. So yeah, 
G2 CEO Carlos, who's been there since the beginning of the company. So he's apparently partying with like the Tate brothers mm-hmm. somewhere in, I don't know, fucking some club. And uh, people call him out for it. They're like, how can you hang out with Tate? Like, how can you hang out with the Tates or whatever, right? And he's like, I can fucking be with whoever I want. So it wasn't like him getting like canceled on Twitter that did that. Okay. So I, I just want people to understand like ratioing on Twitter doesn't get you anywhere. What happened really was like, I think the Valorant. I believe that was the game. Their like esports team like just completely cut ties with G two. So that's like ten, I yeah, think fifteen it was the, million dollars the they big lost. Valorant tournament. Um, no, but because they were franchising and everything too, and like fucking G two was in there, they got kicked out. So they lost a lot of money with the CEO just hanging out with the Tates, and like he had to fucking resign from the basically the the organization that the dude built up. And I was like, man, I don't know if I necessarily like. I mean, I guess it's like, hey, listen, you. you up you you're you're you fucked up you cost a massive business decision to your company they basically force you out of the company but it's like god damn dude tates are fucking poison to hang around with jesus yeah that's pretty <laughs> insane i also i'm still not even sure why they got banned or why andrew tate got banned from the whole internet <laughs> well he got banned because he was um he was highly misogynistic last i checked right <laughs> caleb caleb did your video get striked by yeah. uh by youtube at all because mm-hmm. people are getting strike for having tate in in everything like a few really few i haven't after, seen like, youtube actually removed. take any action well we got a we did a lot of uh we, we edited a lot of stuff out that was like super 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 fucked up and, and not even really it, like more so it was stuff that i said that we edited it out <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah okay well you were you were you, are you saying that you were more based than andrew tate himself Jesus. Uh, no, not necessarily, not necessarily, but there was a lot of non-essential information that I was providing, uh, that, uh, leading him on and then you were cutting out like, (laughs) (laughs) yeah, actually, you know, I'm interviewing, well, well, hopefully I'm interviewing his brother soon. Tristan. Oh, Tristan. Tristan Tate. Okay. Oh, I'm nobody, really excited for the nobody cares about Tristan. Tristan Tate videos. Nobody cares about Tristan. He he's 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 got hair. True. Well, I'm wondering exactly like what was the well, okay, so hold on. What was the what was the reason Tate got banned off of Instagram and every other social media? Like what was well, the, the re- I the, I half heartedly said the reason given was that he's like a dangerous person or whatever, but it's just it's just weird because like that's a really weird reason to give to like ban somebody from the entire internet. <laughs> Right. There's like there wasn't like I don't think he really did anything that was that over the top. People just really didn't like the stuff that he was talking about, you know. Yeah, I, I think the only like so I for me I don't really give a fuck if Andrew Tate is on the internet or not. Like I'm not a fucking PR guy. I just uh, every time like it comes to the whole like criminal investigation shit about him and like the whole like branding him as like an actual trafficker kind of like yeah that irks weirds you. me out a little bit. Mm-hmm. There's yeah. literally no proof to that, right? Well, there, well, there is none because every time I look at the actual investigations, right? Like, even if you do like the bare minimum effort on like Wikipedia of all things, right? Yeah, it'll be like the investigation is ongoing as of mid twenty twenty two, and it, that's it. It's ongoing. Like, you can call everyone. It's like, like this is this is where like even he will say like they like dropped everything. They weren't I'm like no, they didn't drop everything, bro. They're, they're still looking in. Yeah, there's <laughs> like, literally everyone lying. It's you can't trust anyone yeah. on the internet. <laughs> I'd be like, I, I, I'm just, I'm just like, I'm like, for me, in in our line of work, right? Like, whenever you have like content creators, like who are just straight up stating this as fact, and like putting it on the internet, I'm like, man, dude, you must like fucking love playing fast and loose with like lawsuits. Holy shit, dude! Because I'm not, I'm not willing to go toe to toe with like a several hundred millionaire type fucking dude. Like Jesus Christ! <laughs> like if you're gonna state something wrong, like I, I don't. Again, I know that defamation laws are different no matter where you go, but I mean, like, even in America, where it's super hard to prove, right? Like, you can't tell me you're going to get away with calling somebody a trafficker. I mean, there's people that do it, confirmed. right? A lot of people there do it. There are people that do it. Uh, oh, Ethan like, from H3H3, yeah, is making really strong claims. He's like, oh, yeah, this guy is a, con-, like, I think he, I, he might have tweeted out either he's a cr- criminal sex trafficker or a convicted sex trafficker. One of those two. I'm like, bro, <laughs> why, are you ta- why are you saying this? This is just not true right now um yeah it's like for me i'm like listen just wait until like the actual like the the dude is charged right or like wait until like the actual investigative authorities give you something because if true can go off is all i say i'm like if can roll out the fireworks go at it but like if the off chance it isn't or like because there is a chance it's not nobody knows until like the investigative committee does it like they do their fucking full-on check and should then like hold off about it right like can chill there's, out a little bit there's also a huge difference between like th- this is not downplaying it by any means or as i like mm. to call it 
pulling a Mizkif. Um, <laughs> there's a big difference between sex traffic and Roma- sex trafficking in Romania and international sex trafficking in terms of like what eyes you, you will befall you if you do either one of those things. Like if you're in, it's like local in Romania, he always talks about being able to have like an influence in Romania. Um, but like if Interpol gets involved or the FBI, because the, pe- the person who he sex trafficked, who he kidnapped, was American. And that like that's going to be allegedly. Yeah, yeah. Uh yeah, allegedly. Yeah, that's why I did this. That means did you, I thought the reason why he says the investigation is over is cuz didn't they do like the full raids on the house and everything and not they really did, come yeah. up with anything? Yes. Yeah, but I mean like I think they just raided the house. I mm-hmm. think they're still like investigating whatever they pulled from the house though, you know. So it's going to be a little bit before they can like clear it off. Hey, he said he got everything back, all his computers mm-hmm. and everything. Okay. But that's just what he told me. I don't know. Well, it depends on like cuz of course I, again, like when it comes to the investigation, I don't know who's doing what. Like, I don't know if the Romanians are still investigating. I don't even know if the I don't I don't know entirely if the U.S. State Department has completely stopped investigating or anything. Maybe there's like because usually I don't know if the the U.S. wouldn't really announce something that they're investigating like this early, right? Like they'd obviously right. like can you know do their whole thing and then they'll tell you when they have something so that you know nothing gets like sort of muddied or like their whole investigation doesn't screw up. So again, it like. When I was looking into the whole Andrew Tate, right, like for me, it was like, oh, an American person got involved into here, right? So obviously, like the American government has like a fucking degree of like, yeah, making sure everything is done. Yeah, a severe degree of responsibility. So I'm like, man, I'd wait until like the both governments clear him, you know, I'd wait until both the Americans and the Romanians clear him before making like an actual accusation. Because if true, right, like the dude goes into some severe, like, like that, like you're right, like an international trafficking case where like the feds interpol everyone is involved and you're actually guilty of it you're fucking done like it's you're, yeah, you're going into the hole <laughs> that was my point is like i don't think he'd be able to influence yeah. if it was an international traffic I, I i would like to believe that there's no way there's there's no level of corruption that can influence that into being um you know yeah he says corruption is good Mm-hmm. Corruption is good because you see in well, the most yeah, corrupt access- cities, then then people there isn't crime on the streets because they're scared of the really big bad guys that'll come break their legs. The, you know the the problem is with some of the people that follow his rhetoric is like I made this point in my video. I'm like corruption isn't good, right? Like being able to access corruption isn't good. I think we all can agree, right? Like in a society, it's good to not be corrupt, right? Like it, you shouldn't be able claim. to access it. Obvi- listen, obviously, <laughs> obviously in our side of the world, in Canada, the United States, we like to hold the country to like a higher standard than we normally should. And like, obviously, we have corruption here, right? Like, obviously, the states is corrupt. Obviously, Canada has corruption to it, right? And there are people that can access that corruption. Those people are just abnormally at a much higher like state of power and wealth than like most 99% of the country. In like Romania, the way that it was sounded, it's like, bro, as long as you got like a thousand bucks to your fucking name, congratulations, bribe all you want, right? Like shit, this is like fucking GTA online for everyone. It's like, yeah, like Caleb says, I would hope that there's not a level of yeah, like hope. corruption that mm-hmm. anybody can access in the States where they can like completely downplay or like absolve some of these super heinous crimes. Obviously, corruption isn't good. Like, the, like it's not, it, it, I don't think it's like based and cool to take part of like criminal or like corrupt actions of the government. You should be trying to like, fix no, them it's a it's right? a weird thing to flex it's yeah. like old school is rice gum flexing his like four thousand dollar sneakers and it's like oh yeah well i could make two calls and you'd be in a ditch somewhere yeah that was Got so him. sketchy dude when i like when i looked it up that was like on the actual channel like the tate speech youtube channel the guy was like am i part of the mafia no all right but like and it was like, hey, we can make a few calls and you'd be in a ditch somewhere, have your passport revoked. I'm like, why would you say that? There why would you ever mention no. that? Like, it's so He's fucking... hard, dude. You just don't get it. That's what it's... I'm like, but even if you're hard, it's like, okay, listen, if you guys were in the mob, would you be... Destiny, if you were part of a criminal enterprise, would you be telling people on stream, it's like, I can make a few calls and Hassan's in a fucking ditch. You wouldn't even believe <laughs> his viewership and all those counts are gone. Did you, um... I, I Yeah, I don't think I'd be doing this. Did you ever follow, <laughs> um, why Andrew Tate got banned off Twitter? No. Why did he get banned off Twitter? Oh, fuck. I might be making this up. Maybe this wasn't why he got banned, but I saw one of his interactions and it was like the funniest, most unhinged shit I've ever seen in my entire life. There was a, um, there was a guy online, um, as all great internet conflict starts with, it starts with a guy online talking shit to him. Okay. 
And uh, he says something along the lines of like, oh, like Andrew Tate's a push. Yeah, I could beat the shit out of you. And um, Andrew Tate sees this. And I think the him and the guy go back and forth a little bit. And the guy was kind of like, um, the guy was kind of like talking shit. I had a friend say this a while ago. It'd be funny if I could pull this up, but I'm not going to. But basically they were talking shit for a while. And then Andrew Tate keeps going on and on. He's like, hey, like, let's fight. Like, let's set up a money match. Let's do it. And the guy eventually is like, oh, like, you're not going to come to my city and blah, 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 blah. And this escalates over and over again where Andrew Tate starts like doxing the dude. He starts like tweeting at the guy, like pictures of where he works. And I think his family members and shit talking about how he's going to show up and beat the shit out of him, blah, blah, blah. And um, eventually I think he's, he's at the point where he's telling the guy, like, you need to post like a public apology or something. And I don't know if I'm making this up or not, but I think it got to the point where he's like, he actually, I think he shows up like outside this dude's house. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's got like pictures of like him in a yeah. van, I think, with some he people. He knocked on his door. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he, he <laughs> went to his house in Britain. Okay, oh, good. I'm glad I've been making this God. up. Somebody else remembers this. Like, oh my yeah. God, I read, these, I read these logs like, bro, you're fucking unhinged. What? Holy yeah. shit. He went, Wait, to, no, no, no. He went he to the dude's house and the dude started like, well, allegedly started crying and stuff like that and called the cops. Uh, oh my and, god! Yeah, that's what got that's what got his first account banned from Twitter, I believe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Man, how much, dude? How much you got to get so mad over the internet, like that you got to show up to the dude's fucking house like that? What? Yeah, oh my some, god! It was some unhinged. When I saw that, I was like, okay, this guy's a little unhinged. That's pretty crazy. That's yeah, that's that's Although, like that's really. Did, did you, uh, um, okay, so this is kind of funny. I I was doing like an anime podcast like five years ago. And we had an okay. episode that we devoted to roasting this one random guy on Twitter that um, uh, he said that all anime fans are virgin losers and, and True, like, I am all my I real I think women. Andrew Tate said that too. Yes! I went back. We, I made the first video on YouTube making fun of Andrew Tate. I was the pioneer of this genre. The uh, the guy that he showed bad up, bad up bad. at his house is Mike Stuch- Stuckberry. Stuchberry. That's a good Ooh, name. you just doxed him again. Nice. I mean, it's on Twitter. <laughs> That's his full name on Twitter here. Look. It's what oh, we do. Here's the tweet. Check that out. <laughs> so apparently Andrew Tate has been turning up my house again, taking pictures and driving off. <laughs> the whole log of this is just like unbelievable, dude. He just it's... gets in his Bugatti oh, and t- drives to his oh, house. No fucking Big way. Golf. He's That's actually insane. in the supercar. Oh my god. This is insane. Oh, bro. this is a oh hold on. This is a different guy. <laughs> Another guy. This is a different guy because the other one before he wanted to fight. The other guy initially said he wanted to fight him. Andrew Tate said he wanted to set up like a money match to do it. And he kept like bowling the dude. And then eventually the other guy had to beg him to like pull off and stop like harassing him on Twitter and like trying to show up to his house in like a van with like people like beat the shit out of him or whatever. Yeah. I thought this was the guy that wanted to fight him and because it was like ironic because he was so he's like not doesn't look like he's a fighter, but oh yeah, wait, I was say, the other guy looked young, like he could cut oh, like okay. yeah. It, so okay. so guys maybe he's got I, I a pattern we, of behavior here. I think we have to look at these tweets together. This is like in this is like truly really unhinged shit so hold yeah. on, let me open it up in my edge here real quick so i'm sharing the screen do you guys you guys see this yeah so here he is oh, pulling God. up to mike stuckberry's house who's That's the writer point. editor broadcaster of the local europe team so this is a fucking journalist who needs a dude shows up in a fucking mclaren that is so There's crazy no dude way. Don't, Look at this. don't do that by the way <laughs> yeah so this is him this is andrew tate because he's the god of udon or some shit every I know, time man. i go this begging is, mike's house this he is cries. gonna be caleb walking out of his car <laughs> walking up to Call- off-brand headquarters <laughs> calls police and refuses to answer the door i always turn up in 300k cars stop being a pussy mike Jesus. you need f- the five pounds just open up oh my, oh god, my god bro there's people that look up to this shit too. Don't don't ever don't ever get it twisted. That's people look up part, to this shit, <laughs> dude. I, I I like in in some part of the way, like Andrew Tate feels like the four chainer that got really lucky. Like they'd made the right moves in life, but they still could never get out of that fucking trip code mentality. They're still stuck on the fucking threads, yelling at people on the internet, dude. It's done. You could have all the money in the world, but that just shows you how fucking bored you are. <laughs> yeah. All the money in the world, but that one negative comment. It's just gonna stick out in, in some part of the way like i just love having a movie like an actual cartoon character like that in real fucking life in some capacity you know it's like mm-hmm. i know that like if you talk enough shit to this rich dude he'll he actually has the resources to come out dude it's like did you see drake drake <laughs> roasting anthony fantano did you see that yeah oh god like, on instagram man yeah. dude it's like it doesn't matter how rich and successful and famous he is like 
your scoring system is sitting rent free in his head. I like you have to imagine like the image of that though, like the Tate and the Drake image, where like they're in this nice lavish mansion compound, you know, like fucking extravagance everywhere. You know, they got everything around them, everything like anybody would ever dream to have, and they're sitting on their fucking iPhones, just like laid on the couch talking talking shit, shit on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Jesus. Like, no, and it's like you talk enough shit, the dude's like, "All right, we're booking a private jet, we're flying across the country, making sure I have the McLaren right there on the runway, and I'm fucking right there." Mm, they got the you know, PI to just, find the They accident. just see how lavish their life lifestyle is, and they're thinking to themselves, "If only there was some way I could express how happy I am." <laughs> <laughs> but see, that, that, that's how you know the truth of the matter though it's like see like all the people on the social media that like fucking show how happy they are no this is the reality if somebody talks mad shit to you you're gonna see it you're gonna read it and sometimes you might be unhinged enough to respond to it and that's what i fucking love man like dude just shows up out of like i feel like if if we were like 10 times more popular and all of us like shit on date he would show up to one of our places. Like he could show up outside your places. He could show up outside Caleb's. You could show up find outside him at the mine. right time, dude. The right time. I'd love it for at my house. That'd be awesome. Like, like you could just be sitting here, like, like you could just be sitting here, like fucking, you know, doing whatever you do every day, and outside you hear the rev of this like McLaren. Is <laughs> <laughs> it sixteen cylinders? Yeah, <laughs> all sixteen cylinders, and this motherfucker just staring right up at your window, like eyeing you down. I mean, what what a, what a what a real guy! What a, what an actual fucking what that, that I mean, that's like a that's like a Tateism is for his Tate fucking claim. Yeah. Tate speech. <laughs> Tate speech. But I mean, the dude's banned, never coming back. I guess I I don't even know how true that is because, like I said, when he got banned, I'm like it just kind of reinforces him and makes him a little bit popular. Like he still trends, people still talk about him. The guy's ah, on like Rumble and shit. He's on Rumble, bit. but like he was huge on TikTok. And he was mm. starting to get a lot of audience on when he was on like certain Twitch shows and stuff. And I'm sure on YouTube there were a ton of videos for, for him too. Yeah. So. I feel like it'll just switch with somebody else. Was so he ever just banned have another on Twitch? That shows like, up. Was he banned on Twitch? Could people no longer really collab with him on Twitch? Uh, I don't know if he's banned on Twitch, but I don't know if anybody's having had him since his like deletion from the internet. I don't know if anybody's didn't Aiden him. Ross have him a few times. He did, but I think that was before he got like wiped from everything. Right? I don't think Classic he's been on Twitch KW. since. Classic KW. Yeah. Classic I, know that, like, Aiden, w. You know, I know that Aiden had him on there for a little bit, and that was like that was about it. That was the golden age of Aiden Ross. Back before I, I just, he knew that Biden couldn't pass laws without the Supreme Court. Wait, that's a uh, what streamer was it that I swear to God they were like I'm a like they they switched their political sides over like abortion like they I, that I swear it was like Biden that was Aiden Ross that was him that, that yeah. was that was, he did, Ross, oh, yeah. that was him that was like really that was our boy because it. I, I, like Aiden Ross for me, it's like, so I, I just don't know, like Aiden Ross proves to me, you don't need intellect to win the game. All right. You just need to like exist in the right There's place. Plenty of people right that do that, you man. say that about like half the people we talk about. It's like, you know what XQC teaches me? Well, you know, he teaches me. You don't need intellect to win. About you just got to be a big old fucking juicer. That's all. No, 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 but actually she's still, like, way smarter than Aiden Ross. Let's not fucking fuck around here. Like, <laughs> there's still, like, a degree of difference between both of them. Like, XGC is a wild guy to me, but, like, even he has, like, the sensibilities. When I watch, like, an Aiden Ross stream and I put it on a few times, I'm like, damn, I have to actually be, like, I have to have, like, a lobotomy before I watch this because this is, like, fucking physically hurting me. And I only watched him ever since, like, when he was doing, like, the gambling streams and everything, which, that's a fun topic, because that completely got fucking wiped off of YouTube. I mean, not YouTube, but Twitch yeah, in, like, the why next are, month. When are the gamblers all hopping onto YouTube October streams? 18th, yeah? Yeah, but that, that's when they're going to start streaming gambling on YouTube instead, right? No, you can't stream gambling on YouTube. He has been banned on really? YouTube for a long time. Yeah. Oh. You can't. YouTube will, like... Well, I don't know if gambling is banned on YouTube, but they have, like, this weird thing where you just can't show the URLs or links to certain gambling sites. Mm -hmm. And the certain gambling sites are the crypto ones, which, are ironically, are the ones that pay the influencers a shit ton of cash. I know that uh, Trainwrex, uh, he told us that, like, he's gotten, like, actual legitimate deals, like, from, like, actual casinos. Mm -hmm. But I think that's just because he's train wrecks and he's had such an established like history in this. Most new people won't like they're they're losing all their like gambling sponsorships from like Rollbit, Stake, Dualbit. It's a really fucking big blow to that fucking company. And Stake is like when I saw the gambling statement by Twitch, the, when I read Stake.com in there, me and Coffee were kind of both blown the fuck away because if you follow it, Stake is the largest casino by like a fucking mass margin, right? Like Rubet is big. 
but it's like a fucking yeah. like it's like a mosquito compared to the overall size and value of steak. I got and so when they mentioned steak, it was like done. I got a, a, a sponsorship offer from steak. I'm thinking about taking it and then uh, streaming gambling on Twitch to get banned. What do you guys think? <laughs> you should do it. Just make the hay while the hay's there. I guess. Right? I don't know. <laughs> fucking be the most money I ever made on Twitch. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's they they definitely pay like a fuck ton, and it's like people who wonder like how much are these streamers actually bringing in. It's like basic business sense would tell you they're not. Most sponsorships are not willing to spend more on you than what they make, right? Like if fucking uh, if G Fuel comes at you with an offer, they're gonna fucking see how much you sell, and they might like if you're good enough, they might match. You know, like they might break even on you. But they're trying to profit off of you no matter what, right? Mm -hmm. Same with, like, Stake or any of these casinos. So when, like, they come at a streamer giving them, like, half a million a fucking month, they want to be making, like, more than that, obviously. They want to have, like, more people revolving in. Sure. Basic sense. But the other thing is, obviously, like, the, the biggest problem with the gambling shit is, like, so many of the gamblers that I talk to, like, the actual gambling streamers, like, fucking hated the ones at the top. Because they're like, yo, these guys are spending a thousand bucks to spin. Mm -hmm. How the fuck do I have enough money to do that? I'm like, bro, you're undercutting the other gambling streamers yeah. because they're only able to do, like, $20 fucking baby spins. <laughs> and you guys are spending, like, a hundred racks, like, fucking yeah. every hour. Like, what the fuck? And now it's, like, put out. Now it's stopped, you know. Twitch is, uh, Twitch has put their foot down. I feel like that also did come out of nowhere. But the more I look at it, dude, I really think Twitch just realizes they don't want to get in trouble with the government or anything. Like, they don't want to get trouble. Well, wait, like, did you hear about American... the Slicker stuff? Yeah. Oompy got scammed by Slicker. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sl sorry, yeah. Slick and Slicker. Yeah. yeah. I think the Slicker fucking... is what forced them to make a statement this early. I'm sure they've been considering it. But I think after the Slicker stuff came out, I think that was pretty crazy. <laughs> That you I mean, the slicker stuff, how much did he scam? Because I heard like three to five hundred thousand. It's different. Yeah. It's sports betting. Yeah. It's not yeah. sports. It's like, bro, it's like, how much did he scam people? You're going to call out gambling. Train wrecks is going to start responding to your tweets. Be careful, bro. <laughs> Dude, I love gambling. No, but like, and drugs. No, like, and misogyny. Go. Dude, that's why let's your channel go. is. That's why you're the. That's why you're off brand, brother. I'm Come the on. renegade of this group. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, but like, okay, so Slicker scam, I think it was like three to 500k, right? Like out of people, like, total? I don't even know. I heard anywhere from 100 to 400k. I, but yeah. yeah, it was, it was a lot of money. Yeah. But he's also paid back some and, and lied about other money. So Dude, I have no idea. Yeah. I'm, I'm in the discord of like people getting paid back and he's in it too. Just like fucking trash talking some people. It's crazy. <laughs> it's such Jesus. a weird world we're living in. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> How much did he scam you out of, Caleb? Uh, uh 1500 uh pounds so like almost two grand damn i feel so bad i, I lent him money a long time ago he paid me back more <laughs> damn bro i feel like i i was like the winner of the pyramid scheme i was there early enough how, how, early how did he reach out to you <laughs> um i was in an airport he just like he dm me sent me a video I was like hey i need money it's like okay sure and i remember like two months later i was like hey where's my money bitch and he was like, that's oh, what, shit, dude, I'll that's why I was like, hey, man, where's my money at? And then and then he did me again in, earlier this year, a whole year after. And mm -hmm. he said, uh, he's like, can I have more? Can I get some more? I was like, you haven't fucking paid me back for the first one a year ago, you dumbass. No. Yeah, he's the dumbass. You showed him. He's like, no, 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 dude, this bill isn't clearing and the bank locked me out. I'm like, maybe you need to get a new fucking bank, brother. Like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's been ass. a year since the bank hasn't unlocked you. What the fuck? Yeah, just same excuses on my mama. Well, dude, I, I love the whole like PayPal thing. Like, I, I just kept reading like countless DMs. Like, all right, I paid you back. The PayPal transaction got canceled. I'm like, dude, what the fuck, man? Like, what is going on here? And you know, it is what it is. It's like it, it, it is gambling addiction. I've had it like in my family life. Like, I've had it like with family and friends, people mm -hmm. that have been addicted to gambling. Same fucking story all the time. They always fucking need money for something, and like you know what that something is. And, like, you just have to, like, hard cut them off. But, I mean, I don't know. It's, like, it's tough when somebody lies to you. Like, if somebody comes up and messages and is, like, I need money for, like, medicine or, like, you know, a basic bill, it's, like, mm -hmm. fuck, okay, yeah, of course I'll help you out. But it's, like, I guess that's the difference, right? Like, obviously, I had them close to me in my life, so I could see what's going on at their house. Who knows what the fuck went on with Slicker, right? Like, it was all, like, over the internet shit. Like, sure, yeah. I'll cash app you something. You cash app back, I guess. Whatever. We'll, we'll hope to God. But he was involved in which type of betting? Like sports or horse betting? Like one or the other, right? Like the legal yeah, ones? Yeah, sports betting. Sports betting. The fun one. Literally. Yeah, the fun one. The, the, the one totally that isn't okay as addicting. One. All right. Apparently. 
But like they ended up banning uh, like this, but like, this is Destiny. This is why I think they banned Steak and Rubet because I feel like they wanted to go out. They wanted to clear themselves from any like government like like intervention because they specifically banned the crypto ones. You know, they didn't ban like all the other shit like DraftKings and whatnot. Even though, in my opinion, like they're just as bad, right? Like if we're talking about like the addiction mentality to it, obviously they they're much more easy? legal. Are they as easy for like kids to get on? No, they're not. The so they're. <laughs> They they require a lot more checks. Like if you go to DraftKings, I believe like they want your ID before you make like any deposit at all, like before you play whatsoever. Which like they're complying by the U.S. law. Like anytime a company does all of this shit, it's not because they fucking want to. It's because they've got like their fucking like they got their backs pressed against the wall by the government. That's about it, right? So obviously kids aren't able to easily get onto it. unless they use like mommy and daddy's ID, which is a whole different fucking story, right? Mm-hmm. Like whatever. But, uh, yeah, no child is able to get onto it versus, like, the crypto casinos where all you have to do is, like, buy 100 bucks of crypto off mommy's, like, credit card and then, like, fucking send that to, like, some uh, address. There's no, like, check and balance to it, right? Like, there's no, like, fin track going on. But, uh, yeah, that was about the only thing different. I don't know. The gambling stuff to me is, like, from an addiction standpoint, I think all of the gambling services are pretty bad. Obviously, like, Twitch specifically targeted the ones that were the most shady in terms of legality. And that's where I think the wording was most important. Do you think they were targeting the shadiest ones or were they just targeting the largest ones? I think they were targeting the shadier ones. They were targeting the crypto shady ones. Because they mentioned Stake.com. They didn't mention Stake USA. Like, they're not Mm -hmm. mentioning any U.S. licensed one. Because that's what they said, right? Like, we're targeting the ones that are, like, outside the U.S. legislation, the jurisdiction, and any, like, jurisdiction that has, like, proper customer, like, you know. Uh, protections because they were specifically going i think after the shadier ones and i think they were doing it because like for the longest time these streamers would just get a bunch of american kids to send american money to like offshore casinos Mm -hmm. and if the government was coming in it's like well let's look at where one of the largest hubs of like you know these players are oh shit twitch tv amazon an american company boy i think we have to go knock on jeff's door a little bit (laughs) you know ask some hard-hitting questions I don't know, dude, Twitch is a weird thing. Like, I, even for, like, the last, like, partnership revenue agreements, we talked about this. Like, it really feels like a fucking stupid thing to do. Like, it stepping feels, on, like, the... feels desperate, yeah. yeah. yeah it's Very like, YouTube desperate. is winning anyway, all right. At least we'll make some more money while Twitch is still around. Yeah, like, Twitch is doing, like, 50-50 after the first $100,000, which, like, yeah, 100 k is a lot, but this is specifically targeting, like, your larger streamers, like, not... Yeah, the average Andy, and it can't be and, like, that much money they're raising. Like, is it? So why take the PR hit for such it really a? Really can't. Um, yeah. No, they're not making much. All like, I, I don't know what, what would the estimation be like ten, fifteen million dollars, like or something. No, it's it well. What, let's see. What is it? Money. They're going from a seventy thirty split to a fifty fifty split mm-hmm. after a yeah, hundred thousand. But, but this is only for the top, the streamers that a yeah, so like, are uh, in the top yeah. like percent that are act- or top 0.1 percent that are actually making over a hundred hundred thousand dollars a year on twitch yeah mm-hmm. well, wait, like, is this, well, was this the... only for subscriber revenue yes yeah you know what i oh shit you know what i wonder i just had a brain blast um oh, do shit. you guys know what twitch prime is mm-hmm. yeah. yeah yeah i wonder if they're priming streamers big streamers to get less used to that twitch prime income and more used to running advertisements for income because they're planning on cutting twitch prime at some point do you really think they're about to do that? That's like one of the that's I that is like the biggest source for subs for it every is, streamer. It's huge, though. but it's also they're huge. It's a huge bleed of money, and it's just like Amazon just pouring more and more money into Twitch that's already not like profitable for them. And the idea of fuck, I had the numbers at one point, but I don't remember. But there's an ungodly amount of like people that have Prime subs that are just like shipping money for free to streamers from Amazon, like subsidizing Twitch. Um, it'd be interesting to see. They already like changed the subscription revenue models quite a bit by making them cheaper for um, like other countries. Like uh, if mm-hmm. you're if you're in like Turkey, oh, fuck, I don't know which countries. But if you're like in Romania or something, I think you can like sub to somebody for like a dollar fifty instead of spending the full five dollars. Yeah, I know, I saw mm-hmm. that. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's that, funny. That's, that's like fucking... what people were saying. Like, hey, get a VPN so you could literally steal money from Amazon. Yeah. Yeah, that is like if they cut Twitch Prime out, man, I mean, that's and if they cut Twitch Prime out and YouTube is like, hey, guys, YouTube Premium gives you one free channel membership. <laughs> oh, be that would be like, oh, fuck. Yeah. The, the thing about like YouTube and I've, I've said this from like a tech company perspective, right? Like I know Amazon also does AI work like every company, but like YouTube literally for Google, it's not even like they can bleed money on YouTube. But for them, it's like the biggest like data resource farm. Like, could you imagine having like 
tens of thousands of hours of footage every hour where like you yeah. get like voice data fed like everything and it goes right back to google's like big ai cluster like bro that's like indispensably great doesn't matter if they burn money on youtube who gives a fuck mm -hmm. at the end of the day one of the greatest places sources to get like all this human like training data whereas like twitch it's like it feels like Amazon bought it as like sort of a holdings thing. Like, hey, cool, we own like this big corner of the internet, and now it's like, oh shit, this big corner of the internet is just never not going to be profitable. Money. No, right? And I don't no. think they expected it, but it's like if you're not making money with something, you're making something else out of it, right? Like, obviously, every business move isn't calculated by how much money you make. Sometimes you can buy a service just for like you know using it in some other like third party capacity mm -hmm. like if google like if google buys ways right the ways map app right. it's not Which because they they're threatened by it yeah, yeah. Obviously. it's not because they're th it's because they wanted to third. implement their data into google maps right? exactly they want to bring that in some of the features they want to bring over to like the actual main google maps right Wait, like, they that's like pretty much google actually buy ways Yep. Yeah, yeah for like a billion ways. dollars or something. Wait, what? How? Why? How the fuck was that allowed? <laughs> <laughs> this is Dude. old news. This happened like ten okay. years ago. Oh, I, oh, I didn't know. I didn't know it was all in Oh, my bad. I had no idea. Yeah, they uh, Google announced today that it required Israeli mapping service without disclosing what had been reported as a $1.3 billion price tag. Interesting. So, yeah. Huh. It, it, they say Google already offers some of what Waze provides, but I swear it's obviously to get their fucking back-end data back into Google in some capacity. Dude, most companies... If you want to get me started on the Monopoly shit, bro, I don't even know how Microsoft is still allowed to do anything anymore, bro. Like, they're, they're fucking one of the most shadiest for companies back then and still to this day like most of uh, most tech companies these days and their purchases should not be allowed all right but like fuck it. i mean i think shit, the last super questionable thing i saw was yeah it was facebook's acquisition of instagram i was like why <laughs> what why was this instagram allowed? whatsapp and now they're now they lost all of their smart shit and they're buying all the vr metaverse crap yeah. what do you think about the metaverse do you think it'll actually like take off do you think Just, like it's actually the big we don't talk about the metaverse <laughs> here okay i'm like the metaverse I bought... is... So dumb. Go ahead. Did you buy Facebook a house in the metaverse? Like 50, Facebook lost like fifty percent of the value since the beginning of the year. Now it's probably more. And I was like, "Damn, dude, this is." There's no way the company really lost that much value. <laughs> so I made a I made a big Facebook buy. And every time Zuck opens his stupid fucking mouth about this dumb fucking metaverse shit, every time a new picture leaks, okay, my portfolio gets fucking smacked. I'm not oh, a big that, fan of the metaverse dude, right now. Metaverse is 57 points down, okay? Year to date or whatever on my fucking Facebook stuff. <laughs> I, did, I, did, I, did I did a little Facebook buy, and like, you know the day he posted the selfie of him in like oh, the yeah, Spain in the metaverse? I was like, Zuck, dude, stop! That, <laughs> I felt like Heisenberg, like Walter White in the fucking oh, car. Off, bro. <laughs> yeah, Walter White in the car, like screaming like, at yelling. Jack. Or, yeah, like, stop! Uh, dude, shut the fuck up! <laughs> Go buy another company, you dumb fuck. Oh, dude, I had like the meta shit. Like, I made a little bit of a buy. And then I'm like, the moment he posted that selfie, I like open up. I'm like, oh, TD Financial. Let's see. Oh no, it's all red. Fuck. The whole stock market is down. And awesome. It's crazy. Well, we don't want to get talking about the economy. Then we'll really be depressed. Right. What do you guys the think about the only episode no here where we talk about the economy is with Keemstar? Economic oh, analytics. That was my favorite episode with like Keemstar when he talked about like the economy. I don't know. I don't know how to summarize this to Destiny in the best way possible. It's so funny because he starts talking was... about the economy relatively rationally, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then he's like, "And do you know why America's losing the war to Russia? Because of oh, no. cancel, cancel culture." culture. <laughs> It's like, no, dude, you can't do this. You can't do me in the morning like this. This fucking dirty. But yeah, no, the, the whole metaverse shit, man. Like I every dude, it's hard to I, I've given up convincing the crypto people to like not follow in. At this point, I'm like, just get scammed. Like, just enjoy it. Lose all your fucking money. I, at this point, I don't even want to help you out. The problem is like I've seen it bleed into like my real family, okay? Like I used to wonder, I'm like, who the fuck is falling for this dumbass shit? And then I go over to my friend's place down in the city. And it's like, oh, he got, like, the Oculus, like, headset. I'm like, oh, that's cool. What do you do? I'm like, dude, this thing called Horizon Worlds? Dude, you can play, like, pool no. and, like, paintball no. with people. I'm like, no. He's like, have you ever heard of it? I'm like, oh, dude. I oh, got trolled sure. so hard on Horizon Worlds. <laughs> Bro, that play. Dude, it's have a hotel it's for, so like, stupid. kids. It's so It's dumb. so stupid. I got, they, there was a bunch of adults on there, and they were so fucking mean to me. It was crazy. It was the least. Wait, they were bullying. It was the what least the, hospitable the area I've ever been on the internet. It was insane. <laughs> they want me to fucking Brother, buy a, a house fish. in that neighborhood. And he was scammed by slicker people. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> no, but like, but it's so weird how like. So I, again, I think it's different because we're all like we've all been on the internet, so we've all seen like all these MMOs. We've all played an MMO, right? Like yeah. we've all played WoW or some RuneScape or some shit. Yeah. Oh, RuneScape, yeah, yeah. So we've all played something that's like a metaverse in a way, right? Like we've all jumped into a massively multiplayer game. When I saw like the Facebook MMO shit, I'm like, how is this a new concept, bro? How are you people falling for this shit? We've had this since the you made fun of us in the '90s for doing this. Now now you're doing it with headsets on dude now it's even weirder and like for me it's like even when i think about like the metaverse shit i'm like isn't it like a comfort thing too like when you're playing wow for like eight hours a day you're still behind like a computer screen and like keyboard and mouse okay you got your fucking mountain dew and your frito lays right here it's a lot simpler versus like having a fucking headset on that gets like annoying after like 10 minutes you know like jesus christ yeah i'm not too and sure what the game like, plan is <laughs> are you gonna yeah, buy real estate on their destiny Am I gonna on buy what? Real estate on the on the metaverse? Um, you know, I'll, we'll wait a little bit and see how it turns out. Okay, you're gonna find you know, like a little uh, bro, little shitty to town and gentrify it. Low. Have you ever bought an NFT? Right now, what? Yeah. Have you ever have you ever bought an NFT at all? I, absolutely, fucking not. No. <laughs> You don't want to have like something to hang up in your metaverse mansion or your metaverse real estate. You don't want a on, really dude. ugly ape on your wall. <laughs> no, not none of that shit. I will say Let though. Um, uh oh. Oh god. No, I don't know. Say, if I that hit, right. hit me up. No, 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 no. Say it loud. So the no, whole I was class. Say, there's can a lot hear. of people that collect a lot of dumb shit that make fun of NFTs, which is kind of funny to me. That's I feel like true. people lost the plot on why like the NFT shit is not good because there was such a circle trick around it, like. I think that the NFT things where people are talking about like flipping them and making you into a millionaire. How do you just have that, that on your desk, Caleb? How do you always Holy have shit. the right prop? Well, well hold do on, wait. Is it have the right prop? Is it first? Is it first edition? It is first edition. Is it PSA ten? No. Cringe. No. Wow. Yeah. Imagine even trying. To I show lick off. it sometimes on stream to make people mad. <laughs> yeah. I bought it for oh, my grandmother for four grand. Jesus. No, just, you, just, no, just, you didn't. I just wanted to give my grandmother four thousand dollars. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah, I made you video, wanted to give her nice. four grand without the. T I see what you're doing. I she, get it. She confiscated a whole bunch of really fucking awesome Pokemon cards from like 1998 from she a school. Jesus. From a kid. <laughs> I bought them from oh her. Oh my god. Oh my god. She literally There's so many in there that are actually worth money. Too. Too. Like a grand large on a child. <laughs> Not yeah, cool, that's a, I, I think uh, it was funny that the Pokemon cards came first. Bro, uh, slicker, get in line. It was line. insane. An insane amount of stuff there, and then, um, and then like the NFTs and everything came like right after, just like well, you crazy. know, what's really funny about the Pokemon market and shit now. I think it's severely down, right? It there is, was like, yeah. I remember like with the Pokemon market when Logan Paul and everyone were doing it, they were yeah. all like, oh shit, let's sign on and like get these Pokemon cards, and the value fucking skyrockets, and now mm -hmm. it's like. There were people who jumped into it like an actual investment, fucking dipshits that they were, yeah. and now it's like worth nothing because, like you said, Destiny, like NFT, people jump into it, they lost the plot somewhere around like flipping and like selling them. Or because my original point was going to be like, I think that NFTs are valid. I mean, like I, they have like a valid use in terms of like showing like digital ownership of something. But when people start getting into the yeah. weird world of like, I'm going to become a billionaire, um, it's yeah, the same thing I, with I'm crypto with too. Like I shit on crypto a lot and I shit on NFTs a lot, but the, the technology, the underlying technology is fine. There's nothing wrong with crypto their technology there's nothing wrong with nfts it's the no, people that are constantly trying to tell you can get yeah. mm -hmm. like fucking rich doing it is what it's makes the, it all so fucking cringe it's the fact that they have fan bases that's a problem and not like well, look, an yeah, audience or like weird. a user base mm -hmm. Dude, fan mm -hmm. bases my thing are with a problem my thing with like NFTs and I'm like, it would be a great way to prove ownership of digital games without like relying on like individual licenses from companies, right? Like let's say that you bought a game on Steam or something, right? It'd be really cool for you to like fucking have access to that game, no matter what your account status is, or not even needing to sign into the account, right? Like could you imagine like giving up on launchers, for instance, right? If you could just have like one NFT checker on your system running mm -hmm. and like you were launching, like, say, Final Fantasy 7 on your PC, right? Instead of signing into Steam or all the other like fucking services that the game is on, it would just check, hey, do you own the valid NFT of this game? Are you signed into that account? Sure, go at it, right? Mm -hmm. Or like, I don't know, something simple like that. Maybe that could work. I feel like the own the digital ownership is is cool, but like yeah, the the selling of apes and like the monkeys and all that crap that that's where like you lose Look, me. Look, if mm -hmm. you think that the monkeys are art or whatever, I don't see why yeah. they're any different than Pokemon cards either. I think the the issue is no. that Pokemon cards aren't used to move money around illegally, you know. <laughs> Well, oh, the that's funny thing is, depends. there's actually yeah, a really big uh, uh, analogy there, potentially, or comparison there, 
to um to like art right there's a lot of people accuse yeah. wealthy people of yeah. using art to funnel money around in ways that is hard to track so it's kind of funny huh? i mean i i don't think that i don't think you can say like pokemon cards seem like a great vector for like anything that can speculatively raise its value is yeah. a great vector for that kind of shit right like mm -hmm. Art itself wouldn't really have any value until somebody puts like ten million dollars down for it, right? And right. like suddenly that piece of art is worth ten million, and now like yeah, it's a this is a ten million dollar painting moving around the fucking world that yeah. people are sharing. Especially around. when this yeah. thing is the the value of it is not only speculative but is also directly dependent on someone judging it with their subjective opinion and giving it a rating you yeah. know that you can like have redone it's like it's a very strange i mean that's the other thing with like yeah the retro video game market is a great parallel to that because you have like all these fucking retro organizations collecting and shit and then you have like these grading organizations that are working alongside them mm -hmm. you know like connected in some capacity that are like race like they're like hey this is yeah, it's like, this schemers. is a 10 graded version of, like, Super Mario Brothers, and it's like, it's worth $10,000, and Look I'm like, schemers. where? What the fuck? There, yeah. uh, there's an actual, there's a store locally, uh, and this, I, I told, I mentioned this guy before, he he was the one who told me about that uh, um, Mario was a pedophile, and Luigi was a pedophile, and Bowser was a, a bestiality or whatever, you guys remember that story? Yep, I Jesus. remember that. No, yep. no, I'm actually having a, what? Uh, what? So I went to a local store, right, or a store, and this dude just starts talking to about me he's like you hear the news about mario and i was like no i don't look listen to mario news all that much and he said that you know <laughs> mario was 40 and peach was 12 or so i don't forget exactly the the, the specifics of the story i tried to erase it from my memory okay. it was traumatic. <laughs> well it's okay because it's a japanese game was that your uh no he he just kept he just kept like going down this path of saying how these games that he was selling were about like pedophiles and stuff and then I was like, this is a weird thing to talk about. Oh, no. And uh, I also never met him before. It was very strange. Oh, my God. And then I was with a girl there, and she, he started, started talking to the girl about this kind of stuff. And I was like, this is fucking hilarious. And he kept making these horrible jokes where I would, like, put a game or, or a movie that was just the dumbest fucking movie ever, uh, like uh, Whip, Whip Wall 17, and it's just the dumbest Photoshop thing. I just want to watch stupid movies. And he's like, that'll be $65. And I just look at him, and he's like, I'm just kidding. And then I swiped my card and he said, it is declined. And I was like, and he said, I'm just kidding. Just the, he just has to, he has to make everyone as uncomfortable as possible. Anyways, he has a Game Boy lunchbox that he told me was worth a million dollars. And okay. it's just sitting him. on the top of like a shelf in this building. And he, he was like, yeah, some guy came in here, asked, asked uh, to buy it. And we just won't sell it because it's worth a million dollars. Okay. Does anyone know if they're worth a million dollars? I mean, have I mean, you he said up it, right? Game Boy, Game lunch, Boy boxes? lunch Box. You think if it's worth a million dollars, this dude would have like private security in the that's fucking what I, store? That's what I thought it was kind of weird. It's just sitting like, <laughs> like I could be locked behind. At that moment, I, I could have ran over, jumped like up, you're... and grabbed it, and then ran out of the building. Dude, cool. this dude was obviously fucking with you. There's no way. No, he's not on. fucking with me, bro. He he does not. He's not capable of fucking with me. There dude, was something. Next, I, I don't. Dude, next I, time, you should get I, your grandmother to confiscate it. I should have. Uh, I should have um, prefaced the something was wrong with him. Let's just say that. Yeah, I don't yeah. think you had to say that. Yeah, <laughs> no, I was trying I to heavily imply it. I don't think we need <laughs> something. Yeah, got to piece that one together. Yeah. yeah, something was wrong with this man. <laughs> Yeah, Evan, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's all, it, it all makes sense now. He made me extremely uncomfortable, <laughs> though, and I was, I just kept talking to him because I love it whenever people million fucking... Million dollar lunchbox yeah, million dollar for lunchbox. Game Boy Advance. Holy fucking Christ, And then, Christ, uh, dude. something else, like, they have a whole room of stuff that's just, they won't sell because it's too valuable. But it's a fucking, like, pawn shop, basically. It's like, what? Why would well, yeah, you not like sell stuff? They're, 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 dude, obviously the dude is completely bullshitting about these yeah, prices. He's lying, yeah, of course. You're like, you're, like, yeah. you're like looking it up. You're like, I don't know, but what if it's true? Well, I don't think a fucking <laughs> I mean, lunchbox is worth a million true, dollars. Then you should, if it's true, you should buy like the you know BB gun on Amazon. It was that meme. It's like, dude, it's like, oh shit, this is how much it's worth. Let me do some shopping. It's like the BB gun on Amazon, the ski mask. It's like, I remember when they had like the fucking art, like the new graphic cards come out. They were like six hundred dollars. It's like, oh, okay. I see how it is. Let me go. Let me go buy all the tools I need to. No, it's like, dude, it's not. Is it? None of these like games are worth anything of that sort. And I think That's one of the point. reasons for it is it's like 
they're all going to rot eventually. Like, if you ever played old school games, like anybody that's not a gamer watching this, I don't know what the fuck you're here for, but like, if you ever want to say, I want to invest money to like Nintendo shit, okay? Like don't. cartridges. Don't. don't do it. It's not they an investment. Fucking break. It's a hobby. <laughs> they break. Don't do it. <laughs> they're gone. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I don't know. It, it's such a weird thing to get into with the video game market. Like, as somebody that used to collect retro games, I, I've given up on that whole thing because it's like... Really? You have? It's, I have because it's that's just so it's sad. just it's too much of a... You're just throwing so much money down on shit that's, like, so overvalued for no reason, right? Like, it used to be, you know, years ago, you could go buy, like, PlayStation 1 games for, like, fucking pennies on the dollar. Now every grandmother has, like, a fucking iPhone and they're, like, looking up the prices on Amazon and it's like... Ah, Siphon Filter 2, okay, Bubsy 3D, $5,000, like, we'll just put, like, bitch, why don't I just go buy it on Amazon, okay, like, you just looked up the Amazon price, why don't I just make the order and drive home, like, what the, it it is, without a doubt, some of the dumbest market to get into. (laughs) Destiny, what is the stupidest purchase you ever made, like, stupidest thing outright? Stupidest purchase. Dude, I'm like a terminal, like, computer gamer person. I don't know if I've ever made, like, a truly stupid purchase. Um, Because I just, like, buy video games and stuff. What is the stupidest game you've ever bought? Like, the worst experience? Like, the the actual, like, worst bit of money? I mean, I've bought some of, like, the crazy dumb meme ones. Have you ever heard of the game? I think it's called My Summer Car. Yes. I have. I tried to play it for, like, five minutes, and then I... (laughs) I I I think the worst purchase I've ever made was Pokemon Unite. Isn't oh, My damn. Summer Car the Finland? Isn't it like a Finland simulator, basically? I have no idea. It's just it's an unbelievably complicated. You've got like seven stats, and you're just like a guy walking around, and everything is hard. It's like the shittiest game of all time, but I think people yeah. play it as like a meme, yeah. right? Yeah, so it's, it's like a Animal Finland Crossing. simulator, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, it's a terrible game. Regardless, it's terrible. I had, a, I had a buddy that made fun of me. He was like, why do you play simulator games? Like, cause I, cause I, so I was at a wedding and like this guy was talking about video games with me and he's like, dude, I'm really into these like new, have you ever heard of modern warfare too? Like, he's <laughs> like, I'm like, I'm like, well, <laughs> uh, it's been on the radar, so to speak. It's like, man, I've been playing some of this new NBA and he's like feeding me all these like normie ass video games. Nice. And I'm like sitting there. I'm like, have you ever heard of something known as Factorio? <laughs> and so he's oh, just man. like, wait a minute what's that about i'm like well have you ever tried to like build factories like set up supply lines and logistics and district and i explained the whole thing and it's like why would you come home to do a job and it like froze me for a second i'm like man this guy isn't fucking around like i literally work my ass off every day and i come home and my first choice of game is literally another job imagine being so cringe that like yeah you can tell me you're talking to somebody and they start talking about games and it's like oof you're a normie you still play games for fun don't you <laughs> <It'll> I mean, <laughs> exactly he's yeah. like well like, if you hit me up it's like it's literally like any time i've ever been on like a date with like women and it's like fucking they're like we'll get into the hobbies and Sometimes video games will come like, oh shit, okay, video games, that's cool. What do you play? Mario Kart so Live on my iPhone. I'm like, oh, yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah no, I play that too sometimes. You I also play, you know, Shadow Legends. <laughs> yeah. She's like, have you ever played Clash Royale? I'm like, the fuck that's is like, that? It's like when they do some of those surveys sometimes, and it's like, oh, like 68% of people play video games, or there were. I remember they'd say like more women play games than men, and it's like 62% of women play games. Or I was like, okay, well, what kind of games are we talking about here? Because that's Candy kind of Crush, important, obviously. Yeah, uh, manipulate. Well, it is Candy Crush. My mom plays video games, and she only plays Candy Crush. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, the day I got, like, I gave her my like old iPhone when I like switched out to a new device, and like I come home, and she she, she doesn't really know how to use like technology all that well. Like mm-hmm. my parents really don't bother. My dad does. My mom just doesn't give a fuck. As long as she can get on YouTube, it's fine. So she gets onto the app store. She, like, tells me, it's like, I found out how to use the app store. And I'm like, wow, this is really wholesome. And, like, then I'm over and I'm looking at what she's doing. And she's playing fucking, in my head, I'm like, I look at it. I'm like, is that Bejeweled? And then I'm like, oh, no, that shit's Candy Crush. It's like the fucking reskin crap. She's like, she's like, it's so great. Like, I'll finish 10 levels and they'll, like, update the game. I'm like, Mom, that's the crack dealer. They gave you the 10 levels to start. Yeah. Now they're just going to keep you hooked. And she's like, I'm never going to give them money for it. I'm like, Ma, you watch, like, 20 ads while I'm talking to you. You gave them the fucking money. What are you on about? Did you ever it's have fucking- 
way back in the day, parents that they would use a computer and add the 50 million fucking toolbars to their browsers. Oh Bro, yeah. That- <laughs> My mom had like fucking weather bug, like all the, like the 50 million different pop-up things. And then the thing that was the most annoying fucking thing as a kid was at any time there was a fucking problem with the family computer, because back then not everybody had, or at least in my house, we didn't have like 22 fucking different computers. It was like the family computer. Yeah. Um, Every time there's a problem with the computer, they blame it on you. Did you put a game on this and fuck the computer? Oh, yeah, dude. Blah, blah, blah. I got you with that. Yeah. Like, and I'm like, bro, are you, mom, ago. look at your fucking computer. You got like 700 <laughs> fucking pop-ups right now. She's like, that's important. Oh. That tells me the weather. That tells me the stock market. Mom, you don't own stocks. Why the fuck do you have this shit on your computer? What are you doing? <laughs> like, oh my God. It was so oh my frustrating. God. Seeing my my how, dad still, yeah. like, he has different um, icons on his bre- on his desktop, like to get to Google, to get to Google Images, to get to email. Like, they're different little icons on his actual desktop. And they're just, my, like, 14 oh, dude, my uncle Google does that too. add-ons. Like, he has one for Gmail, and he has one for Outlook, and he has one for Can I recommend, if you've, never, if you've never seen this before, this is, like, my favorite web series of all time. It's four episodes. There's a thing that's made, like, I think it's, like, literally 15 years old, but it's called The Website is Down. Have you guys ever heard of this before? Uh, yeah, yeah. No. Yeah. It is so well done. If you work in tech or whatever, or even I don't even work in tech, and I understand the jokes. It's not like complicated, but it's so fucking funny. Oh my god, it's so perfect. If you ever get bored someday, watch the website is down episodes one through four. It is the funniest shit. It's such a high effort production. I don't know how those guys didn't do anything else, but uh, yeah. What were you saying, Muda? No, no, I was just uh, I, I saw the website is down when you mentioned it. I was like, I, I got you. No, when it came to like fucking shit being down, like I, I know like one of the weirdest toolbars that I ever saw, and I didn't even know this. Like this is like I black holed this out of my head until you mentioned this. But like, if you guys remember the days of desktop strippers, yes. No, are the yes. was it like the paperclip guy? But they would just like walk around your. That's yeah. like, okay. You're literally sitting down on your computer and like out of nowhere while you're like or checking your hotmail account, right? They just mm-hmm. wander fucking, onto the screen from the side. This this like poll appears and like fucking oh, Jesus like, Christ. comes out of the crowd, like the start menu, and out comes like Svetlana from like fucking <laughs> <laughs> the no, the USSR back in the day. And she's like fucking just stripping on your screen. Jesus. And it just does that every once in a while. Like it happened on like my fucking Crazy like, my to dad's think friend that who, whole like, genre was bought out by Twitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my dad my dad's friend would just have like so this is the thing. Like my dad let his like fucking friend I don't even know who his friend is, like it's like his like his friend's like little brother or some shit, because like the age difference was there. Mm-hmm. He like stayed in our basement for a little while. And like this dude was such a fucking coomer that like when I would like, like I would sometimes go down and like his computer screen was on, bro, on the lock screen for Windows XP. This motherfucker would like as he'd log in, it was just like porn on the on on the on the on the wallpaper. Like I'm not saying like you know porn is bad or anything. Like you do your life, but like there's just don't have it on your fucking wallpaper, bro. Like somebody comes to your house, you log in, and it's just like spread eagle on your entire Jesus screen. Christ. What the fuck's wrong with you? Know, Caleb has like Moby Huges on his balcony. Okay, like you're talking to the wrong guy here. Yeah, but Caleb, do you have Moby Huges as your wallpaper? Like, if your mother comes over and you open up your computer in front of her, is she gonna see dong? No, my 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 wallpaper's been a just been gray for like ten years. My, my wallpaper is has always been the windows xp fucking like start like the windows xp like bliss wallpaper Mine's that's been a what i super fucking close stick up with. of my cock and balls <laughs> that'd be really I mean, funny, you, actually <laughs> i mean if you yeah you should like you should like <laughs> macro shot your dick and like just post it and be like hey figure what that's of but yeah like this motherfucker had like desktop strippers like virtual like hookers on on the screen and i'm like man and you're complaining that you get hacked like you're complaining that like your credit card information got stolen bro what are you installing but yeah it's true and back then like they always like your parents always downloaded the really shady antivirus software too right like Mm -hmm. they'd be like oh the computer sold let me go on the internet google free antivirus they wouldn't go to like the big fucking firms and download the fucking stuff no they'd go to like this shady ass Zimbabwe like run cyber tech firm that was like releasing a- anti adware and it would like feed them all this bullshit, remove system files, and it would just make the computer all fucked up. I'm like, dude, mm-hmm. having this is why I'm so glad, like, not living in the day of a family computer, man. Like, fucking kids these <laughs> days, they got their own MacBooks, they got their everything separated, mom and dad. And even nowadays, yo, computers are so like fucking tar proof mm-hmm. that like Generally, you yeah. could. Li- yeah, like literally, like there's literally operating systems now where like they just don't even let you install shit. 
like at all like period unless it's from like an approved vendor you they're know like it's been proof, background Nita? search huh they're what proof oh they're they're, they're neuro uh, proof. proof sorry neuro divergent <laughs> proof <laughs> interesting proof. users among us yeah Special user permissions. <laughs> Dude, I'm so tired of not being able to say the R word. You know how much it pisses me off that political streamers <laughs> just use that shit all the fucking time? And, like, I get demonized for using it? Like, bro, I, I go on the internet, like, I, I'll, like out of the heat of the moment, I'll be like, yo, this fucking R word. And then, like, the quote tweets are like, wow, dude, how did you use that word? This what word? <laughs> YouTubers trying not to be, like, near, like, bro, I don't care, okay? This person's, like, an actual, like, dipshit, okay? The I'm gonna use oppression. the proper word. Yeah. yeah. And then, like, I'll go on the internet, and then you'll find, like, the most lefty fucking streamers, right? Like, the most lefty fucking types who are like, hey, guys, we gotta be, like, you know, really thoughtful about all these marginalized individuals. Anyways, this re- like, bro, how is it that you're allowed to get away with it, and I'm not? <laughs> like, I'm not even trying Inequality, to posture Inequality, man, here. inequality. Start, start talking, start preaching. You're, start preaching no, your case. No, dude, I, I'm preaching. I go to, like, a Vosh stream, and it's like, when a Vosh said it, I'm like, wait, how do you get away with saying the R word? No, like, actually, how do you get away with it? Is it just like, like, how? I don't get it. Like, okay, Destiny says it, I'm like, oh, wait, what do you mean? You, well, for people like Vosh, to... I mean, like, people could say slurs if they also, like, apply to themselves, right? I think well, it probably depends on your from... communities and what part of the internet you're on, right? I, I, apparently, from, like, the whole Hassan thing, like, when I was watching you, Destiny, you were like, apparently a slur is okay as long as it's... As long as somebody's heard about it. Knows yeah. about it. You need to find very esoteric ways to call people retarded, yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know. I've seen some of Caleb's thumbnails, and I've seen some pretty esoteric slurs in there. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Are you referring to Tar Baby? <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. How yeah, do you know? Dude. <laughs> dude, he put a fucking right. legit slur into his Jesus I didn't Christ. realize tar baby was a racist term. <laughs> I mean, it's just, listen to it. Oh, I didn't, I don't understand. Yeah, I don't know. I just didn't see it. Up with it. My dad, I didn't think I fucking came up with it. It's two simple words, and it was literally a small child covered in tar. Okay. That's the in joke. his thumbnail. No? That's the joke. I can respect well, yeah, that. I can see so, why you would use that term. Yeah, and usually I describe the thumbnail with a word. So, it was a tar baby. I just it rolled right off the tongue. I get why yeah. the racists use it. It makes sense. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's because the word just rolls off. I asked my dad if he knew what it was, and he's like, "Hell yeah!" <laughs> so I was like, "Whoa!" He said like, he used to read a book. Knew it but me. He used to read in a read a book that had it in it from the olden times. The olden times. The olden times yeah. of the late eighties. Like the I mean, the olden times had a lot of racist shit. Yeah, of <laughs> course. Like books. Yeah, I mean, no, but it, part of my it, it's part of my it's naivete, super I'm, odd dealing with it. Like, I don't know what like it was like when I was watching like the whole Destiny thing, and it's like when I see, came across like the Hassan clip, I'm like, you cannot just make the argument that just because a slur is not so well known, it's like relatively okay to say. Like, what about Yakubian ape? <laughs> Is that actually a slur? Yeah, Yacubian Yacubian is, uh, I've, never heard of I've been you called just by, uh, made that. black nationalist before. Yakubian, I think, is a racial slur for white people, right? Yeah, it's. Uh, would you like to hear the story? Of yes. Yacub? Oh, yes. Yeah, a millennia ago, it, a scientist named Yakub, yeah. an Arabic scientist named Yakub, an evil scientist, albeit, created the white race. White people. Yep, he created white people. All right, and uh, you know, he over time, new ice chimps? he taught uh, Moses. Actually, taught them how to wear clothes. Moses from the Bible taught. If, you know, from the ancient times. Taught... Damn, y'all were running around naked Exactly, since yeah. Because huh? we're, we're, we're Yakubian apes. We're, we're white devils. We're okay. horrible, evil idiots. And mm -hmm. uh, and actually, at one point, Moses, after he taught us how to wear clothes, he took the 300 most troublesome Yakubian apes and blew them up with dynamite. That's right. <laughs> Moses that had dynamite. What? He had access to dynamite. Um, and this Only is... for that one specific instance, though. Yeah, and then, it, and then like... After that, Moses yeah. discovered it, and then after that, the, the first Nobel Prize winner invented uh, dynamite in, like, you know, uh, 1,500 years later. But anyways, mm -hmm. that's irrelevant. That is, that is the official – that's officially believed. Like, the story of Yakub and the Yakubian devils or the Yakubian apes is believed by the uh, current leader of the um, Islamic nation. Why are you saying believed like it's not true? True. That's a good point. You just yeah, set me straight. You're, like, literally downplaying. I love the word phrasing there. Yakubian ape. I love that. It's funny. That, that's that. That's a that, that's like. A, but I mean, it's a slur to white people. Though. Yeah, I've I can been say on the it. internet long enough, guys. You can't. You can't be. 
I've heard from top scholars that the white race isn't actually a race. I've read this on Twitter. Yeah, we were created by a by an by an evil scientist six thousand years ago. No, it's it, dude. Let me let me tell you. I feel like when it comes to racism, guys, I think we uh, maybe this is a hot take, but isn't like all racism just bad? Like That's a hot all take. slurs <laughs> equal bad. <laughs> I don't know how to say equal bad, but yeah, it's definitely no, no, bad. No. Yeah. There's a historical difference to each yeah. slur, but I mean, like, yeah. nowadays, the act of being hateful towards any race is just not okay. Like, it's whatever. Like, I don't know. It's yes, just, obviously. Bro, even it goes without saying. Yeah, like, there's a big difference between, I think, the history of Yakubian apes and the N-word, obviously, yeah. <laughs> right? Like, Yeah, Yakubian ape is hilarious. <laughs> I've never heard of a Yakubian ape, okay? Like, dude. the most racist thing I heard towards white people was, like, Ice Champ or, like, Mayo Monkey or some shit. Yeah, well, dude, there, it's like that one, yeah. um, what was the name of that cartoon? Was it Infinite, the superhero one? Does anybody know what I'm talking about? Invincible? Uh, Invincible, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. Far. I never watched it, yeah. But what's the meme where there's, like, the guy is, like, he's got the dude, he's on the rock, and he's pointing behind him, and there's, like... 50 million slurs and then he looks back and it just says like the n-word and he's like look at all they need to frack to mimic even a fraction yeah. of our power or whatever yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> so, i mean there's a reason why we call it the n-word and we don't for everything else and we don't call yakubian yeah. the, the y, y word the y term yeah don't call me the yeah, y no, term it's... you sick fuck no there's definitely like obviously like people see that's like where like most people will this is what I hate about like the internet too. It's like it feels like everyone you talk to like mm-hmm. is like really absolutist in like their their stance, you know, and like everything. And I guess I come across as like retard enlightened centrist or something right now when I say it like this. But it's just like obviously all four of us have agreed that there's like a big difference. Like we know that all racism is bad, but we've also agreed that like hey maybe each word isn't completely equal either because i haven't heard the y word today before now i know the whole history yeah. it's oh, a yeah. short history <laughs> moses had dynamite yeah. Like, yeah, just yeah. Didn't, shouldn't that like it's disprove something like no <laughs> no but then no what, what I'm, I'm a fucking dipshit because i'm on facebook all the time dealing with flat earthers so it's like fucking clearly like you can't convince dipshits no. Destiny, have you had a flat earthist on the debate? I've never actually like. I've done like done kind of meme hard. debates about it before, but I tend not to debate like hardcore conspiracy theorists unless I take a lot of time to prepare. How would you fucking prepare against a flat earthist? You have to like, know a lot win. of physics knowledge. It, it's very, yeah. very, very hard. <laughs> there, there was this channel I watched, I like Professor how Dave. You take it. I well, I, do. I, I mean, like, I feel like as a debate though, you have to take everything seriously, right? Like fucking. If you, even if you're going up against a flat earthist, like you have to make like this is why like that Professor Dave guy or whatever, like he he actually talked to like flat earthists, and I watched his video, like literally, like in the debate he was like straight up shitting on the guy, like no fucking questions asked. Mm-hmm. But in between all the shitting on, he's like, all right, let me give you like an actual understandable physics, like you know, like point, and, and then like it completely like kills an argument. Like obviously that's why you need to fucking prepare. The whole thing is like you want to make that motherfucker look. Ap- you want to debunk it absolute, like down to its core, so everyone can get it. The thing with flat Earth is, it's like I don't know if it's like being like genuinely stupid or if it's like some counterculture movement. But like, man, you just you could you could get like I could take a fucking drone, like fly it up to the stratosphere, and they still wouldn't believe it if they themselves took the photograph. You mm-hmm. know, like they come up with some other bullshit excuse like at that point debating that is it's way out of my realm of possibility like i just cannot argue with somebody on it yeah i don't know to be fair i feel like that's everything like everyone's gonna be so caught up on their stance on anything that they're gonna see it black and white mm-hmm. their way is the right yeah. way like flat not me a flat earther is an example except for caleb he was open caleb. to the yakubian conspiracy until they mentioned Are you kidding? dynamite, he tried downplaying it at the end. Yeah, he's like, yeah, he looked at, yeah, he started questioning it, dude. He's Caleb like, doesn't wait, believe it. I thought Alfred Nobel invented dynamite, <laughs> not Moses. Not Moses. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you got you got your history wrong, brother. Shit. Hey. Oh, but you know, today we discussed a lot of points. We discussed racism. We discussed Twitch concealment of sexual. Uh, Assault. All right, I don't want to downplay it myself, regardless of degree. I mean, to be fair, it was only okay. like B tier sexual assault at best. So like, I mean, no, 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 it was D tier. Okay, last I checked on the tier ranking list. Come on now. <laughs> Whoa. And uh, we, you know, it was it was a wide range of topics, but I think this wide range of topics works really well with our amazing guest here, Destiny, who is without a doubt our favorite political streamer on the internet. The only man that is willing to challenge the actual you know, stupidity on the internet. Not sitting inside the hug box of today's day and age we call the internet. Thanks. I Destiny? Tried. Dude, you're just gonna no, out you... Destiny as the person we like more than Hassan? Like, in front of everyone? 
He's kind of like the Bill cool. Clinton of political streamers. He's really likable and he plays the <laughs> fucking saxophone. Oh, shit. I mean, you know, they, I argue about the N-word all the time. They call Bill Clinton the first black president. You know, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Well, you know, Destiny, do you have any socials you want to plug in? Uh, yeah, Instagram.com uh, slash Destiny, YouTube.com slash Destiny. Yeah. Well, and Twitter and run gentlemen. by someone else entirely. Sometimes, no, I so. think that's gone. <laughs> yeah, there's a there's a guy out there, necro liberalism. I've heard he tweets some crazy shit sometimes, but who knows how long he'll be there? Necro liberalism. Oh God, He's a bit of a I'm glad your uh, your friend is out there preaching the good word, and I hope you all check out Destiny's amazing friend on Twitter, ladies and gentlemen. You have a good time. If you enjoyed what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike it if you dislike it. This is all of us, and we are out.